Pipe Jep. Pipe it up. This episode's a little different. You know, we got mics now. Look, we got mean, y'all food. can't see it, but right here is downtown Miami, Skyami. Y'all have City. no idea, but the views oh. are immaculate. <laughs> Yo. Four See? guys with a mic taking on the world. Cheers. So I just can't f-ing speak. Like, good old club soda. And welcome to Listen Buddy Podcast. We're with an absolute legend today. Over 15 million monthly streams combined across all streaming platforms. One of three members in one of, if not the biggest, electronic dance music group, Major Laser, yeah. fresh off the plane from an amazing performance in Bahrain and recently appeared in Bad Bunny's new music video, No Me Quiero Casar, hey. mustache enthusiast, fitness aficionado, tequila connoisseur. Tequila. His discography reads like a roadmap of sonic exploration, seamlessly weaving together elements of dance hall, trap, EDM, all while staying true to his signature style. Let's go. From the underground clubs of Houston to the main stages of Coachella and Tomorrowland, the man himself, Eric Alberto Lopez, a.k.a. a hey. hey, So with this kind of like you're saying, like you're rebranding, you're trying to create this new kind of style for yourself. Who's like a, I guess like a dream collaboration or somebody that you're like, I would love to work with this artist or somebody you're like, you know, like, I just, I like what they do. Like, and I think we could have some good chemistry, make some good music. I think what I would want to do is bring what I'm doing to pop artists, like major artists. So like, I would love to make a a song with like, uh, Rao Alejandro, he's dope or like Bad Bunny yeah, or, uh, I was going crazy. Yeah. Or like. Um, bad guy, she's sick. She yeah. like put out an album, it's fire. Okay, just like stuff. I would love to do something different with them. Like not, not obviously. I'm, I don't want to make a reggaeton record with them because they've made they so yeah, many. Yeah, they made so many. Yeah. But I want to make something different with them. Like I want to bring them into another world and see how it goes. That's like I've always been about that. Like bringing, like so getting an artist and then bringing them into a totally different world and like seeing how they do in I that mean. vibe. Kind of like, yeah, I know the song you had with Uzi, I think it was like, oh, uh, fuck up the party. Yeah, yeah, I, that one, dude, I, I love that song. That's a oh, banger. Thanks, but it's man. like, I think that's like a great example of that. You know, like, I think you brought, you brought, so how did that happen? Like, y'all just, I know it's been a couple years. Well, like, yeah, that was the guy, who was the other guy in the song? It was a Houston rapper. I forgot his name. Dang. But he had the song with Uzi. And I don't know how I got in contact. We just followed each other on IG. And he was like, oh, I have this song with Uzi. Yeah. Um, I want you to remix it. Rizzo, 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 yeah, Rizzo. Go. And um, and I was like, yo, how about this? I just reproduce it and we put it out on this label, yeah. it, it, which was uh, uh, Gold. Uh, what's A Track's label? Oh, oh I forgot. Uh, Fact man, I, I don't know how I'm forgetting all this. Fool's Gold, Fool's, Fool's Gold, Fool's Gold. There you go. There we um, go. Good and good I was man. like, yo, we can put it on A Track's label and whatever. It'd be sick. So I reproduced it. And he wasn't really like digging it, but he was like. I don't know. I don't get it, but I'll trust you. There you go. And uh, yeah, we put it out. And I mean, it, Uzi wasn't really huge at that time either. Um, but I mean, whatever. And like, he hit me up recently. He's like, yo, man, I never got paid for the... the I'm like, bro, I don't know. That's all the labels. <laughs> yeah, like, that's all the that's labels, man. He said, I don't, I don't handle any of that. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah, reproduced yeah, it. That was like 2016. Yeah. Like, come on now. That's minutes ago. That's- I'm surprised that actually went through because I think Uzi at the time was being repped by uh, DJ... DJ Drama. DJ Drama. Yeah. I think that was like his. It was like some whole team. drama. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot. Remember when they weren't drama. letting him drop and stuff? I remember yeah. that. I yeah, forgot. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, drama yeah. is like a manager. He's the one like that's why Jack Harlow like got on the scene. Yeah. The yeah. DJ drama. So I don't know how it. I don't know how it even went through, but yeah, it was. It's crazy. What a crazy time. But that's yeah, up. stuff like that. I was like, yo, we can make it more bigger. So yeah. I played it like a festival. For sure. That's when I was like doing EDM music and trap was like popping. But all right. All right. Yeah. So we talked about like your. Uh, I guess your flow of trying to record, but if you have like a performance coming in, how do you lock in and set the tone for yourself? Do you do anything specific oh. or consistent on like performances or before? Nah, not really. Like, I, I really don't know anymore because I haven't really had a lot of my own shows. Yeah, that's what I'm like working towards. So I kind of forgot what that feels like, to be honest. Okay. Uh, touring with Major Laser is a little different because most of the time we have a pre pre not pre recorded. It's pre. Um, like scheduled ske- yeah. we have yeah. the show is scheduled because we have choreographers yeah. and dancers yeah, so they yeah, have yeah. to dance on time yeah exactly. they have to come out at a certain time so it's like we have the 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 set 
that that's it's ready we yeah, know when right. to play the song everything's cued up. everything's like yeah on in cue, order has a cue we're least. djing we're not pre- <laughs> i don't want to yeah, like, yeah, nah, yeah. They're, sure. they're over there making that and making them yeah but we're but it's it's the the set is like scheduled there's a bunch of other factors like the dancers right. and lighting and all this we stuff have, that you have to, to factor exactly. in. yeah i got visuals you. the lighting yeah. guy has to match the visuals that and everything sense. so it's, that makes sense but so it just that doesn't really feel like a it's like a doesn't feel like I'm, oh I'm a, this is a dj set it's yeah. not so it, it's a little different but um i don't know like I, I honestly forgot i used to tour the world alone like when i was like or in 2015 i was like doing Europe shows in oh, wow. Australia, New Zealand, on my own. Really? So, I, so I'm excited to get back to that. That's why. So to answer that question, I don't know yet because I, I forgot what it feels like to like be on my own tour schedule. But how old were you when you're on your uh, solo tour? Uh, like 27, 28. Oh, wow, and just traveling the world. Yeah, man. that's odd. that must have been like a like a just a crazy experience. Actually, no. Yeah, I was younger. I think, man. I don't really? Think about it. Yeah, I feel like 20. Yeah, I was like 26, 27. Do we, do we have a crazy story? From was that solo 17, travels? Yeah, was, yeah, it was like some, some crazy something stuff that the kids can hear. Yeah, solo travels. <laughs> or not? Or let me not. let me think. I mean, it wasn't really anything too crazy, other than just like getting drunk. The best time like ever was on the Mad Decent Boat Party. Yeah, you guys remember that at all? No, sir. You guys were probably in, like in high school. Yeah. I'm not going to that. 16, 17. I don't know. I don't know. This was like, yeah, probably like. 14 15 oh, yeah, 16. We were just, I was oh my boy i was in eighth grade <laughs> oh, i'm old bro. Like, hey we right there with you so that's your mad decent ep yeah that was it was around that time maybe yeah it was around that time i think but so mad decent is obviously a diplo's record label yeah. and he used to do these things called the block party where in every city he would just make like an outdoor block party stage mm. and just like book djs okay wow and then it That's got fun. so big, it was popping. It yeah, was yeah, yeah. fire. It got so big that they did it on a cruise ship. So oh, they wow. called it Mad Decent Boat Party. It was a cruise oh, ship. Oh my god. Huge. <laughs> and it would book huge acts. They booked Travis Scott, like oh, G Easy, like on that on the on everybody's on a cruise ship going to like the Bahamas. Oh my nah. God. And it's just like in my a cruise party. Ship, there's different stages. So That's it's a sick. festival on a cruise ship. Everybody's <laughs> staying there. Everybody's there for one reason. That sounds, that maybe sounds awesome. That sounds too maybe that sounds terrifying. terrifying. And if even if you ask anybody, anybody who has ever been part of that, if you ask them what was the best time of your life, everybody nice. says the boat. Really? And even still to this day, we talk about it. We're like, yo, man. Remember that? Remember this? What a time that was. That was the best time. How long of my were you life. on the boat? I can't imagine. <laughs> Huh? How long were you on the boat? It was like three days. Dude, I'm not making it to three, the Three, four days. <laughs> You're gonna have to. Dude, I got like two two days in me. Maybe. Nah, yeah, man. The third day. You say that. You say that. But when you're on there on oh, that you, boat, bro, it's you're like locked in. Give me a liquid IV. Yeah, you and like the, it was so, bro. I can't even explain how fun it was because you just like wake up, and you go to the gym if you want. You get breakfast. Mm. It's all inclusive, and you know you can whatever you chill until like the the stage the djs or whatever performers start playing at like 3 4 p.m you just you can just like go to the stages whenever you want that's awesome. there's a full lineup everywhere so you that's can just awesome. be like oh so and so plays at like seven so i'm gonna chill to like five did they have like um you know like 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 what is it those electronic forests they'll have like 2 a.m sets mm-hmm. did they have like 24 hour sets yeah i mean it went pretty late some people stayed up till sunrise yeah i mean it. you're on a cruise ship but you can do whatever you want yeah, literally, you're literally like nuts. the bed's right there like we're on the sea dude <laughs> yeah we're in <laughs> the nobody middle gotta drive we're in the middle of the ocean and then people would be like obviously you're meeting a lot of different people you're making friend groups right and then it's like a field trip for adults like that's awesome, crazy, not for real. That's and then awesome. people would like so some of the artists will have like suites so people would do after parties after and they would just like invite people. Some people would go to the casino on the cruise ship and like oh do God. after parties there and just like start DJing. Come on. It was crazy, man. Come on. It was so fun. Yeah. But they need that, to bring, that, bring those, it back. Yeah. yeah bring yeah. it back, Mr. Drums. They, they still do the, uh, the, they still do a cruise ship. There's oh. Groove Cruise and there's another one, I think, Hard Ship, Hard Ship. The Hard Fest does like a group, but it's like all, it's, it's, I, I don't know. It's, it's all dance music. But Mad Decent, it was just something about it that was so crazy because it was eclectic. They had bands on there. They had rappers, singers, that's, DJs. That's awesome. That's and it dope. was just like a crazy different vibe. I probably would have been able to do it. I probably would have been able to handle myself, I think. You would have loved it, bro. Oh, yeah. Trust oh, me. Yeah. Y'all would have loved it. No, no. I don't no think, that I sounds don't like it. It sounds like it's not. It's like it, it's it's just, my it's body. Like impossible to not have a good time. That's what yeah. it sounds like. like you For physically sure. cannot not that's have That's like my time. type of vibe right there. Yeah. Yeah. No, Boat. So. Best time of my life. Bro. For sure. Yeah. You said what year was that? 2014-ish? Mm. 13, but a little bit before that? 15. 15? Okay. Yeah. So when you officially jam- joined Major Laser, that was a couple years after that, right? 
Mm. Mm-mm. 2019? 2019. 2019. Yeah, that's when I did like first shows with them. Nice. And, and how did that relationship like start? Um, I met, I think I, I met Diplo like on Twitter in like 2014. We just like talked and sent him music and then he would ask me to remix songs. And I was like, all right. So I knew them and I started working with them since like 2014. And along the, along, I mean, throughout the years, I would either like do production with them or just remix their music. And then we came out with the collaboration. What was it, 2017? I did like this is the way we do this with Major Laser. Oh, okay. oh no, we, we got the fact there. Yeah. We got the it fact. 16. We got the fact. <laughs> 2016. So then, yeah, I just always had that relationship with them, like musically, just either production or remix and stuff, or just sending music back and forth. And then I, I officially met, uh, I think Diplo like 2018, maybe no 17. Yeah. 16. I don't remember, but I met him through Jillionaire. At one of the Mad Decent block mm-hmm. parties yeah. in Texas, actually. Oh, that's lit. So then we actually finally met, and then I think they played like one of my songs or something. It was crazy, and then yeah, I just kept great the feeling there. Yeah, how was that feeling? Like the first, you like, bro, whoa, this is my song. Hold nuts, up. bro. Yeah, I'm in the crowd, just like recording it. I'm like, it was <laughs> crazy. Oh, right. That just that got best, that's gotta man. feel good. Yeah, it's the <laughs> best. It was awesome. <clears throat> wow, that's fire. Uh, so you talked about you know wanting to tour more more on your solo shows we're probably coming in the horizon but what do you have planned for this year and what's uh on the horizon for eight drums in the new year now that, we're that in you January? can disclose yeah. maybe obviously there's a lot of stuff you know still in the works and stuff yeah, yeah. Of yeah course, i mean of course. i have a release coming out march so i'm excited for that uh, like yes a sir first eight hey. drums release come on in this new direction heck yeah and then uh hopefully trying to plan a couple more um not like as we speak i'm like trying to send finish and send music now like my, my biggest thing is finishing music it's like the hardest thing for me gotta so, be it's just like i'm just such a perfectionist and it's just mm. i'm never happy with it mm. yeah so that's always like my struggle and i'm trying to like read this book and it's definitely like helping me like find ways to not be that way anymore i guess be less what's the book trying to say um i forgot i don't even know the name it's the rick rubin book though yeah yeah okay and i've had it for so long but i just never get like read it i don't, I don't read books yeah so i was like Every morning I made it a thing to read like four pages. Oh, yeah. Good. So I'm getting some some good insight in the book. It's very relatable. It's like it talks about um, how so, some creators are very perfectionist to the point where they don't even want to put stuff out anymore. They don't want to put it out to the world because they're scared of like criticism. Yeah. And it's just really bad. That's or it's tough. like you put it out and they're like, oh, wait, I could have fixed this. And oh, if All I right. just, you know, waited, I could have done this. And yeah. Because yeah. if you like sit there, you definitely hear that one wrong note. Yeah. but. I'm telling you, probably the masses are like, dude, that wrong note is amazing. Exactly. And that's usually what happens because I don't like I don't show my music to anyone except for like a, my one of my closest friends here. And he'll be like, bro, this is crazy. You know, and, and I'll, I'll do it just to hear that. I'm like, OK, cool. I'm for on sure. The right track. Yeah. yeah. But it also talks about how when you do so many changes and you think you can make it better, you make it better. And then at the end, the first version was the one. Oh, yeah. and then i listened to the first version i'm like bro i should, I should have just left it yeah. so now Stick i'm to trying to good. practice that yeah i'm like all right cool to be okay don't want to do too much to it and ruin it and then when this is the right version like because the thing is when you start making it in the first day you're like oh this is sick and then after the days go on you start to like it less and less but you have to stick to that first reaction you had right you're like yo if, when i first heard it i liked it and i thought right. it was crazy so i should remember that and keep it that way because the next person is going to hear it for the first time is probably going to feel the same way 100 yeah. percent. so yeah yeah that's what i'm working on right now um <clears throat> but yeah hopefully some more releases throughout the year and then i start to tour and do the shows that i want man and just fuck up the game i want to just oh uh, yeah just hey. over you I heard him hell yeah i want to talk my shit bro I yeah. come on everybody out i want to hey. say i'm the best yes, that's sir. easy <laughs> the thing is though you have to tell yourself that you are the best before anybody else is going to tell you you're the best right i mean you, and that's true but you gotta you got to but i'm gonna i want to get to the point where people are saying it for yeah. me yeah you know? oh we already oh, know yeah. Hey, hey, Mr. M- Mr. Ape, I'm not saying you're not the best. You you the best. Come on. I was there. Oh, I had a no, like what's funny, we're like joking, like we're making jokes and stuff, but I think we spent like we were at that we were at that boiler room for like two, three hours. We were at your show for like your set for the know. whole set. Yeah. Oh man, I appreciate it. And like I think that was like we left 30 minutes later. I was yeah. like, cool. 
Is we had a great night. Like I had a great night. It like was, it was, it was, great. It it was, was actually definitely. funny. We actually, I didn't even notice. Uh, my girlfriend actually, like we were, you, were, I think we were in. Uh, what is that place called? South Congress. South Congress. And she was like, she was like, well, I guess you were there too. I guess earlier that day. And she was like, oh my god, that's Abe Trump. So I was like, I don't think that's him. She's like, it's him. It's him. And then I, I guess it ended up being you. Did oh. you go to South Congress earlier that day? Wait, is that where they had the shopping center? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was walking yeah, around. Yeah. And I was like eating and stuff because we stayed in the at the Soho there. So. It was yeah. like you and like another guy, I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah, she was like, oh my god, that's him. Oh, that's like, yeah. I was there with my manager actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sick. Um, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, like so basically. That boiler room was supposed to be like a perreo because the perreo mm -hmm. was like party was hosting it. Yep, yep. But but that's why it was like very, very Latin fused because yeah. yeah. I was like I don't want to be too different. I don't want to like steer off from the direction of the party. Okay. But that's another that's another thing though. It's like that's another thing I'm trying to work on too is like branding these DJ sets differently because mm. for an ape drums show the DJ set I want it to be like the music that I'm making and I want it to to play just like Afro tech like house cool weird house with your sound yeah. with my sound and that's yeah. what i want to do but i also want to do these boiler room sets where i can play dance off perreo baile funk uh -huh. so i want to find a way to like brand it so mm. that i can do both because i do enjoy playing yeah. this kind of yeah. music still you know mm. like so so i'm trying to figure that out because i would love to do like more boiler room well sets. i feel like what you did is perfect yeah, what you because like it it opened up my eyes to you yeah and now real. we are here yeah. and exactly. now, literally yeah and then i started like, listening to more of your music and now i'm in the car just like Man, yeah, just yeah. bumping Abrams, literally, man. I oh, do man. this, bro. Like, I, it's so easy for me too. Like, I, it's so fun and easy for me. Like, a, a lot of DJs, going back to the point, is like, DJ started DJing two, five years ago, and just started DJing this kind of music. But I was like, bro, I've been doing this. Like, in this. Like, I've and been still, in the lab, yeah. Yeah, and I still play the songs that I've played in 2014, and people are like, what's like one of the song, the song from the clip? People yeah. are like, yo, what song is that? What song is that? What song is that? <laughs> I've been playing that song since 2014. Yeah. Uh, like that kid probably has like a full family, stopped playing music that. 10 years ago. Like, you know what I mean? And <laughs> yeah. I'm playing his record and it's like, people are like asking about it. Like I'm bro. Yeah. Like, so to me, it's kind of like a personal thing. It's like, I almost like was like low key. I was like, yo, the fact that they're asking me now, it's kind of like crazy. I kind of wanted to say no. Cause it was like, no, but, but then yeah, I was, yeah. Just because I was like, just, I've like, been no, doing it. Like, because every DJ is DJing like this now. Yeah. Right. Every DJ uh, you, you yeah, book, yeah. In boiler room they're playing the same edits the same style of music the yep. same way facts and i'm like bro for me to go on here now i'm just gonna look like if people who don't know me they're gonna be like oh it's just like another dj playing by the funk like and i'm like i don't want to be that i don't want to i don't want to come off as that i yeah. want people to realize that i've been doing this yeah, shit I mean, since all, fucking nah. all they got to do is they just got to go back and see and did a like, great like, job. the evidence is all there yeah. the proof is in the oh, pudding wow. yeah literally so and then I was like, my manager was like, nah, bro, you got to do it. I was like, yeah, you're right. It's like, this is like, I got to, I got mm -hmm. like, I have to. Like, got to. I got to experience it. Plus like time. Austin, man, Texas in general, like, you know, bro, we are, it's the land what of the Mexicos, city. my boy. Like, yeah. come on, guy. Like I live in East Dallas. <laughs> I like to just call it Mexico, bro. I walked outside and there was a chicken. There was yeah. a chicken. There's like chickens everywhere in my neighborhood. I love it. Mm -hmm. Today we saw a chicken at the Target. <laughs> with the baby chick too. The, it was at, with fun. the baby. Just Crossing not. the street, coincidentally. <laughs> I ain't even going to lie. We got ducks. But. We got chickens. We got it all over here. That's lit, I will say uh, Miami's a little, it's a little, it's a lot going on in Miami lately. Yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, it's always active, bro. It's always active. There's something every weekend. Yeah, so what, what's going on with the whole alien uh, invasion thing in the mall, man? I don't what's know, that man. about, man? You got, I don't know. That was nothing. That's straight <laughs> you think, up. You think that was like, just like some a fake lot of just, stuff? Just some like, fake stuff people fake try to go viral with. It's not Twitter but, fingers, motherfuckers. Yeah. Just on there. There's no video of it. That's exactly. what I don't understand. Okay. That's, okay. Yeah. So why was there so many cops there, Mr. Ape? There's like a hundred cops there. I think they said some kids were like, I don't know. They Do thought you they believe that? Fight. I thought it was going to be like a shootout or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But a hundred So they try to prevent it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> sure. man. Are you a conspirator? <clears throat> Do you I'm, sit I'm, and I'm think about it? You know, I, maybe there were aliens. You know, maybe <laughs> the cops are lying and they said, bro, you know, who knows? But that's just the way it is now. You can't believe anyone. You anything. can't. You can't believe anyone. You got to be lied to our whole lives. Yeah, you know, literally. Right? Like, so it's like, okay, <laughs> if somebody says, oh, that was an alien, cool, whatever. If the, somebody says there wasn't or there's global warming, there, the world's gonna end. Okay, like cool. We cool. don't know. We're yeah. still gonna make music. Yeah. Where's, Where's the, the video? Doing it. Yeah, like, we're doing what we do. There's nothing else. A hundred percent. Not factual. factual. If you like stop living because you're scared, it's just like you're not. Yeah, you're yeah. not living. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do what you want to do. You know? L I V I. -E. They've been yeah. They've been scaring us our whole life. Exactly. Not it's just not just another day. Like, and that's why I'm like, okay, people out there, they got a point. It's like they're trying to paint this picture. They're controlling everything, but it's like. Right. Like where someone would have recorded something, you like know, like at, I, like how? Yeah, exactly. I will say though, I feel like with like so, social media, it's like with the rise of social media, I feel like that kind of what you're saying. Like they're trying to like 
scare us and like try to like tell us you know what to believe it's like it's just gotten way worse though i feel like with sure. social media like i feel like back in the day like i remember like the the, the example i think it was like random it was like the thing about the i don't even remember this was like way way back like 2009 or something the kid in the balloon he was in that like oh it was like the that, dude he, he was like, like a little gray balloon like a silver balloon and they're like oh my kid's in there and it was just oh. a hoax and the parents were just it was like all over the news and the parents hid the kid in the basement the balloon was the, like floating in it the was air? Like floating in the air and they're like my kid's in there oh my god it was like kind of like the whole thing with the with the submarine the ocean gate thing and they were like oh we got to find them they're lost at sea but the day the thing had imploded you remember that yeah i remember that, it's yeah. like yeah it's it's just like they they they, they want us to you know, they want us to believe one thing, like, oh, they're out there lost in the ocean. We got to save them. And then a couple of days later, oh, yeah, no, they, they imploded like four days ago. And we knew it because we heard the thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's why I'm like, bro, I don't like pay attention yeah. to this stuff yeah. anymore. Like, yeah. I, obviously, I read it, but yeah. it's like, okay. You, you saw aliens in Miami, you're like, whatever. Yeah, I'm like, oh, okay. And like, the only video is like, no, nothing. And I'm like, how did it get this Super big? Blurry, like, how are people really some dude it? on There's a, no video. It's just like a shadow. The question balcony has, like this, looking down like, 25. From a million miles away and it's so blurry i'm like that's what you're gonna that's an alien yeah, that's an alien like, bro. come on now and then have, yeah and then you have to realize that people are so like easily yeah like like be easily, swayed, yeah, yeah just, we are that goes back anything. to that tiktok new age that people's attention spans are just like yeah. real quick oh, they just want the next headline next yeah. big thing you see yeah. an alien in miami everybody's yeah. clicking that and yeah. it's like come i mean we, we've been talking about the aliens in miami for a second man yeah like, <laughs> i'm, I'm curious <laughs> no because like, nobody my, here is talking about it so nah, nah, it's just, bro, it's no one outside. he's like everyone everyone yeah, outside of miami is even like no one in miami bothered by it. miami is like crazy bro miami yeah. is like a whole other world it's like bro it's not a real place if you just go walk around and like it's not a real place it's no i i think this place is like a glitch in the matrix for sure because like i don't know 100 like, percent. Yeah. They people just spawn in. We yeah. were on the beach yesterday. We were on the beach yesterday. I swear to God, it's pitch black, and a man just appeared out the sand. Like up. <laughs> he walks him next to us. Oh, oh, like just and just keeps exactly. walking. And then we look around. We turn around. He's gone. That's the alien. Like, yeah. the he's that's the alien. alien. And that's bro. how you know like, I'm kind of getting into the culture. I'd even hesitate. I was like. Nice to see you, bro. Yeah. And he just kept walking. <laughs> I was like, hey. it happened. Yeah, yeah, that happened, bro. That's why I am. He's yeah, like, I've seen worse. Yeah. I never I never try to fight the craziness that I see in this world. I'm always just like, let's be complacent with it. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Yeah, like, yeah. let's go with the flow. When Come somebody's on, yeah, when somebody's saying something like outlandish, I'm never like, bro. Like people are, you know, somebody's like, Oh, there's a ghost, or I saw an alien, or I saw uh, <laughs> Bigfoot, whatever. I'm never like, bro, you're crazy. I'm always like, oh, okay. Like, oh, maybe yeah. you did see it. <laughs> you <laughs> never know, man. Yeah. You sure? I'm I'm not, have you ever seen anything? Too, like, have you me. ever seen anything? No, never. Damn. I, I, there was one time where I did see UFOs, but it's like it could have been anything. Okay. Every, but like, there's like, pure, there's like, now, funny enough, now there's like super clear videos of UFOs, and people are like, oh, that's just like a uh, uh, CGI drone something. And then it's just that, oh, those are people. They'll see lights that go in like, oh, those are actually just, um, they like parachute, but they have lights on nah, them. Bro. And it's just like, I'm like, okay, so. Pick and choose. What yeah, you, you never yeah. know what it is. There's like a clear you. video of a UFO. Like people are like, yeah. just always like, oh, that's just this and that. I'm like, now during COVID, like whenever like COVID was happening and everyone's freaking about COVID, the government literally came out and confirmed the existence. But they called them. Uh, I think they call them UAPs or something, yeah. unidentified aerial phenomenons or something. It's like, either yeah. way, it's like, I don't know, you don't call it whatever, but it's like the fact that you guys are confirming that. No, but they found them. Like they found UFOs and now they're like reversing, reverse engineering how to create them so that, that we like ourselves can create them. Yeah. And uh, then I, I heard another conspiracy about, this is my last conspiracy on the aliens. <laughs> on the, on the, conspiracy on the aliens. Because bro said, okay, bro said um, that in like, Portugal, Brazil, something. There was like one of those like real secluded um, like tribes. And so they were like going into the jungle and then people were getting scared because there was this like people acting as aliens because they would wear this mask. But it was just like the local government trying to like pretty much push out the tribe. And so this guy was like, that's what they're trying to do in the U.S., bro. And I was like, what? What are they trying to push out? Just like push out Miami? <laughs> push out Miami. What? Miami. <laughs> now, do I think I gave a good explanation? No, for sure not. But hey. I feel like some dudes are just making that video. And it's like, if I say this is aliens. No, no, no. Go bro, crazy. we were talking in person. This was like, I was in the studio oh, and okay. I was like, what did you think about the aliens, bro? Because I, I, my mom brought it up, too. I, <laughs> We can get past it, bro. I'm sorry. We, we can we can get past it. I'm not from Miami. Ain't so no aliens, bro. Yeah, Come was, on. Now. Yeah, it was cap. It was cap. Yeah. <laughs> cap. Like, 
I saw the video. I'm like, okay, where's the video people are talking about? I'm like, this is it. I was like, there's no way. Yeah. It just got so much attention from this blurry ass video that shows nothing. Yeah. I don't know why there's a hundred cops. I don't know, but there's always a hundred cops in oh. Miami somewhat sometime. Yeah. Okay. Just the other day, two days ago, I was like, why are there so many cops on Biscayne? Just like racing down Biscayne, just park. And I'm like, what's going on? There's nothing going on. Maybe like I think like there's a Walgreens on that corner that always gets like trouble there. And oh, there's always like a guy in there trying to like steal stuff, a crackhead, whatever. But it's just it's just like stuff like that, you know. Interesting. Should be going down. Should be going down. And yeah, you, and then you just walk by, you're not phased. It's a, it's another day in Miami. I love that. That's weird. That's, That's why they always got the means, you know, the a Florida man. Florida man. It's like yeah. a headline. Florida man punches alligator. Florida man, you know, all this eats someone's face off or <laughs> exactly. whatever it is. Like, yeah, wow, exactly. that's crazy. Like, what's I feel like Texas and Florida are not like super different though. Like, obviously Miami is its own place, but like when I go travel all around the U.S., at least other countries are very different from America. But around comparing to other states, I feel like Texas and Florida have a lot of similarities, almost other than not having shit in terms of nature in texas but yeah other than yeah. that i feel like you know you got big roads a lot of the laws are saying you know state no state income tax you know a lot of things so i could see myself moving out to florida 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 yeah. hey, let me come out I haven't, I haven't been to other parts of florida like yeah i've been to orlando, been to like orlando or anything briefly though it was yeah. it, it was i was ne i never spent time in, i'm trying like, to go to the swamps, no, the swamps. Yeah, i've never even been to the swamps <laughs> i've never really left like miami like this little miami area I'm pretty chill, bro. I yeah, just like yeah. stay at home. I don't really care to travel or go see shit, to be honest. He said, I travel for work. Yeah. Simply put. So yeah. I got to ask. Yeah. So since you're mainly just like focused in Miami, like, so let's just say, you know, you do to, uh, come off a show from Major Laser or Tour, you, wherever you come back home, Miami, what's the first spot you're hitting for food? You're like, I'm back. I got to have this. Man, I just, I cook. I don't go oh, out to eat cook? either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. I just cook at home, man. I, I'm what's simple. What's your go to? I just steak. Steak. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Steak. Yes, sir. All yeah. day, every day. Steak. Steak. Yeah. Protein. That's it. Because that the thing is, I, I was doing this diet for like the past three years. And then this year, I kind of like just chilled because I don't know. I, I, I just over it. You know, mm. just, I was just eating steak, um, honey and like fruit mm. and like raw dairy. And then I was doing that for like two years. I f like it was the best. I feel great. Wow. Um, but then I just like, all right, I want to eat like rice and yeah. burgers again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I might need yeah, to get on pasta. Guys, man. So I started, I'm doing, I'm going through that now, but I'm going to go, it's just like, you know, you got to, you can um, balance it out a bit. So yeah. that's what I'm doing. Okay. You say you work out a lot too, almost every day, I think you said, but. Yeah, I try. Like, what's what's like your split or your regimen for working out? What do you like to do? Um, well, I have a trainer, so it okay. just makes it easy. I tell him to give me like good workouts for mobility. Yeah, yeah. So like. That functional nothing. strength. Yeah, functional strength. I saw that one you were doing. Yeah, it was what? like that. Balancing you going like that the thing and the and thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What you mean, bro? That, Dexterity that going crazy. One, yeah, because I, I like I have my feet muscles are very like my feet hurt when i do like um like for example if i do a lunge yeah, yeah. My, like my toes get bent mm -hmm. they, they hurt and i'm like it's not supposed to be yeah. like that because they're weak you don't really yeah. use your, your toe muscle your feet muscles a lot so then that's why i started working out with just like socks like barefoot oh. because then your feet get like more stimulated, stimulated, stimulated. yeah and then that was like to strengthen like the little muscles and bones in your feet too yeah did because, you get used to walking like flat-footed almost a lot yeah. uh, when you're when you're just walking normally but if you really like flex and a lot of this it depends on the shoes you wear too exactly. there's like a whole science yeah there's a, exactly. there's a whole science behind i really that. never thought about a whole that different rabbit hole with that yeah and and but i noticed so because it, sometimes i go play soccer and stuff and like my feet will hurt yeah. even one time i went running in malibu like i was in malibu for like work or whatever at west's crib or diplo's yeah. crib and he was like, yo, you want to go run five miles? And I don't run. <laughs> I don't, I don't Wait, run. Just like that? Five like, miles. We, 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 yeah, we, he's, he's, a, he's a machine. Like, he's probably, he's like, um, uh, he's not real. Like, he, this right. guy's crazy. But he's not I don't real. run. I never run. I don't I don't like running. Yeah. I like to work out, but I don't like running. I don't yeah, like yeah, cardio, yeah. like that. running shit. But I was like, yeah. fuck it. I want to get a sweat in. I was like, okay. fuck it. I'll yeah, go run that. five miles with you. And, it doesn't seem like that. Like. We're talking I, like run or a jog. Like, or? It was like a jog. Run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, you get still. Five, you get your a pace. jog, a five nah. miles for jogging, nah. walking, whatever, was, man. That's yeah, a lot, like, bro. That rigorous. I was, I was like, man, whatever. I didn't expect it was all terrain. Oh, went through the sand, all terrain. The road, <laughs> grass, stairs, oh my concrete, God, stairs. asphalt, everything you can think of. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, after that, I came back. My legs were like done shins was going crazy uh, they were numb everything was numb i had to sit, sit down I had, I had ran and like i only had like these new balance 990s which are like the worst shoes to run in honestly. <laughs> whatever so then the next day i realized i was like yo 
my my one of my foot hurts when we get to my walk like it's a bad pain dude that on the side exact thing happened to me and i was like what the fuck so then i've traveled back home and i had it for a week i was like this is not good i can't work out i couldn't go to the gym i told her yo i can't do like a lunge because the shit hurts turns out i had a broken like little bone (laughs) from running like, yes. when you did the, the, yeah. the with the run with Dipper? I had broke a, a small oh my bone God. on my ankle mm-hmm. and <laughs> you just like well, I gotta let it heal which I did Jeez. but because of that I was like man I wanna have like I, I need to do Good shit strength. to like strengthen my yeah. feet yeah. cause also like if I I do Muay Thai too so if I kick the bag I don't want my feet to be like broken every time I you know mm. or, or anything you hit it the wrong way yeah, any, any kind of movement so that's what the mobility function I wanna be able to like not hurt when I move nah yeah, for sure. I had a runtime challenge with work once, and I was like, "Nah, they, they don't know me, bro. I'm gonna just go out and run five miles." Like literally, After not thing, like I mean, not running at no, all. I do not just, run like that. Yeah. I'll, I'll play basketball <laughs> here and there. I'll work out yeah, pretty it's different, fit. Different man, running just straight running is different. Like, no, you didn't like walking five miles. I, was I, was like, like, I don't I'm even sorry. know if I could like, do that. I was bro. walking like, with a limp, bro, for yeah. the rest of the week. <laughs> I was like, I it's, it's man, it's tough. It's like all mental too. It, you know, it's like. So did you reach an endorphin high? I. uh I don't know. I don't think. That or the I, runner's high. What is it? Yeah, like, the runner's, the runner's high. high. I never reached it then. I don't think I've ever reached that. I'm <laughs> <laughs> but funny enough, I started jogging like this this month. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start jogging again. I'll jog down Biscayne like a mile and a half. It's like a mile and a half little thing that I do, and it's good. I definitely got better at running, so I was, I'm gonna start start doing it a little bit more often. Now but you're gonna be it's like good for like mental and breathing. And like, yeah. And stuff like that. So right. you gonna do like a marathon or anything, a half marathon nah, or something? Nah, nah. I ain't, I ain't You're doing just gonna all be that. in the, in the studio with Diplo and be like, "Now nah, let's do five miles." <laughs> yeah, I'm ready this time. Yeah, exactly. Hey, come on. And he'll do like, "No, let's do seven. I'm like, right, Whoa. "Seven, never mind." <laughs> never mind. <laughs> he, just, yeah. did, he just posted. He's like, "Yo, trying to trying to get." He did like four miles under seven minutes or something. He's like, trying "What?" To, I'm like, "Yo, you're crazy, bro." That's and then he'll just go like cook up some music minutes. and go do something else and go do this. Like he's yeah. just like he's, he's on he's on he's on go mode at all times. Yeah, I think he's here actually. He's like Miami? on the beach and he, he's on the beach. He like ran on the beach today. And I was like, that's what he does. He'll like land and just go run miles. And I'm like, that's cool. So I want to start to get into it. You know, you know, necessarily I'd rather go to the gym and yeah. like do functional workouts, but do you have to be pretty fit for like this lifestyle that you live pretty well, healthy at least? I mean, I don't know. Not really, man. Like if you, you know, like as a touring DJ, producer, right. not really, it's just better. Okay. And you, you, it definitely helps you feel better to yeah. be more active because you're sitting all day right. on the fucking laptop. Yeah, it's like if you don't work out or sweat, you're just gonna be sitting all day and then sit more. Right, like it's like that's gotta not feel good. Yeah, but sure. there's definitely people that, you know, do it. It's just like if I'm at a show, I definitely, I don't think if I'm not like working out every day and I do one of these shows and I gotta like jump around and still like kind of be on the mic and be hype. Nah, like I need to. Yeah. definitely have my stamina up yeah i think naturally though it's like you your body tells you like as a traveling artist your body tells you all right you got to work out okay yeah. so like it's not like people decide it's just like they have it's like they're feeling that they have to not like, yeah. just like work out or go jogging at, at the very least go jogging 100%. you know and, and that it'll help them feel better but sure. it's definitely i mean it, yeah it's definitely like you definitely have to be some kind of active or sweat to do that shit for sure that's awesome hell yeah that's crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to get more into running though, but That's it's cool. tough, dude. But once you kind of get into it, you know, run a little bit every day, and yeah. nothing crazy. Your body really will start to catch up like pretty quick, and it's yeah, pretty yeah. nice. You like, gotta start know, off slow. Yeah, start off slow. Nothing crazy. Like if you go out and run four and a half miles, your shit is gonna hurt for yeah. sure. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what happened to me mile. too. But yeah. so like we're talking about Diplo. Yeah. What's it like working alongside with him? Like, it's, just I mean, how is that? It's it's crazy. You learn a lot. Like mm-hmm. he's he's, well, he's been doing this shit for years. Uh, he's definitely like really into knowing stuff like facts, historical facts and culture, cultural facts. Like he's really into that. Hell yeah. So I learn a lot just like, you know, hearing him talk or like, you know, he'll be like, oh, we'll go to Saudi Arabia. He's, he'll say something that, <clears throat> you know. Did you know that? Like, he's like, like, oh, that? yeah, that's cool. If you're here, this is a spot where they do this. And oh, wow. yeah, because 10 years ago, this wasn't even here. Yeah, thanks for the tidbit. That's awesome. Yeah, it's just a lot of learning, like, which is it's great, you know. That's it's what we need. Learn from the best. Um, we need great mentors. Yeah. Shout out Diplo. Shout out Diplo. He's funny, man. This guy's hilarious, too. Do we have a funny Diplo story? Um, Other than that, five lot. miles is kind of crazy. There's a lot, yeah. <laughs> I just I'm I can't remember them like there's definitely right. a lot of funny <laughs> Diplo stories but I can't remember them. I'm trying to like see if one comes to mind, but it's just funny, bro. It's just too much. Yeah, fun guy to hang around. How was a uh, how was like so you recently just went on like a pre, what it was like Bahrain, correct? 
Where oh no, so I was in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Okay. We were in uh, Jeddah. 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 And then I think while she went to Bahrain alone. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Bahrain. Uh, he had. He always does his little one-off shows. <laughs> Um, so, side quest. Yeah, <laughs> while she's a side quest boss, <laughs> that's a good. Yes. One. I'm gonna tell him next time, like you're, you're the side quest boss. Dog. Shout <laughs> out, side quest boss. And we gotta go to India and, and Dubai. And that's awesome. Next month, middle of next month. Dubai yeah. just seems awesome. And I already yeah. know he's gonna be like, oh, gotta go to Doha to do, or <laughs> to do like, like, a show. If and we're in I, Dubai, are we getting like we're getting the cool cars, right? We're driving cool cars. Yeah. Right, oh, like yeah. always, there's always that one guy like that you know that's has the. Like, I got cars, to, yeah. I got to, bro. Yeah, like, I got, an can I get a McLaren, please? Yeah, a, yeah, a, a pink so, one, please. Yeah. Hell yeah, like, just, they got all of them. Yeah, they got it all. I like, I would just be on TikTok, and then one dude was like, "This is all it is to live in Dubai," and then bros like just going through a line of like Rolls Royces. Like, yeah. Do I want to drive the Phantom? Yeah, yeah. Or do I want to drive the all white one? Yeah, that's <laughs> what a life, right? What a what life, a flex, man. They got, got limited it. money out there for that's, real. Yeah, that money is different. No, but different, what is bro. it? That oil money. The oil uh, money. That's oil money. Yeah, it's that Middle Eastern oil money, bro. That's what it is. It's, it's a cheat code. Crazy. It's a cheat code. Crazy. <laughs> okay. Why are we not? I actually that? been to Dubai once. Why? Why are we? Why, why are we getting into oil? Is that what you said? Why are we not in that Dubai money? <laughs> it's, it, they already hey. capitalized all of it. There's not much left, man. There's always like, more money in the world, you know. You we are. We're a brown podcast. We should pull up to Dubai sometime. Yeah. Some, at some point. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be yeah, exciting. Yeah. A little desert pod. Desert <laughs> ATV pod desert pod. You should, you should do one, but like wear the... Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. I get a little turban on. He yeah. grew out of his. You got a few though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, he let me borrow one. I had a wedding uh, last year that I went to and I didn't have any more. He let me borrow his. <laughs> yeah, my mom goes hard. She'll go back. I'm from My parents are from Pakistan. Oh. So they were born there. Dude, they're okay. drippy. And yeah, they they got a whole closet full of just traditional clothes. Straight so, drip, yeah, There's one thing. We're going to get that custom order. Right? Come on. She got the connect up there. Come just on. Send the measurements. They gonna send it back. <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> it's too easy, bro. Well, it's a whole different world out there. That's how I like, For you sure. know, traveling overseas. I've been back there a couple times, so mm. it's cool to just see because America is American. You know, you go somewhere else, you're like, you're just a spoiled ass American now. It's different, man. I love it. Like, you, it's like you you feel uncomfortable. Like mm-hmm. when you first go there, you start to feel uncomfortable. You're like, I'm not used to this. Yeah. But then it's it's cool to experience that because exactly. you're like, all right, this is just. This is just their everyday life. Yeah, like you're literally world. in another part of the world where they live differently, and you have to like take that in. Exactly, and, and that's what I, I enjoy. It like, and they probably yeah. feel the same way about us as well. You know, right. they, I think they just laugh at us. They're like, yeah, oh, they're goofy oh. ass. Nah, they, we're just like the laughing stock. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like any other country, you go there. Oh, American. Yeah, yeah. They're like, they're, you guys are fucking. <laughs> yeah, you guys are. You're. I'm not. No, because why do they? Laugh, they bro. always switch their tone. Like, oh, so you're you're from America, and you're like, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm like, sorry, like, bro. Like a shame. I'm embarrassed now. <laughs> I'm like my parents made a decision, you know, before. Like, I don't know here. what to say. It's like, like thirty years ago to come here. Sorry, I had no control on that. Yeah. My bad. Like, yeah. not for real. That's crazy. But funny enough, I was just in Saudi. They all were speaking like Arabic to me. I'm like, damn, do I look like so, like? What you think, boys? Which is crazy because. When mm. I went the first time, I, I had like the full beard. No, because look, and then you do this, the, this, the fade too. Yeah. I you you could be Pocky for show. But they were like, <laughs> back then they didn't think I was, but now for some reason, I guess it's just huh. maybe thought, which is mm. cool. But like, I was like, damn, I low key want to learn Arabic though. I think. I hey. actually can read Arabic, but I can't understand it. Hey, nah, nah. Yeah, my yeah. boy right here speaks Urdu though. Oh, just Urdu. say a little bit. Say it's a little like, bit. Yeah. I put him on the spot. He gets a little nervous. I was like, what do you want me to say? Like, say, say something. Say, ask him a question in Urdu. Oh, he's not gonna know what I'm asking. I'll translate. <laughs> oh, you'll you'll translate. I'll translate. <laughs> um, uh, let me think. Ooh, this is my boy from Houston is Packy too. And oh, he, he really? speaks a little bit of Urdu. Yeah, the oh, guy okay. that moved to Miami with me. Oh, yeah. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you, it's something along the lines of like, oh, what would you? You could. You said ask him a question. Yeah. You would respond. What would you ask him? You could be like. Make me ask. Make me ask. Put you. Kya means what? Me me is say kya put What should I ask him? Yeah, there you go. Mm. There's a little, there's a little Urdu lesson, you know. Hey, sometimes we, hey, sometimes we actually, you know, our we can be factual, educational. We could teach you some stuff, you know. We, we try to do a little diverse podcast, you know. Yeah, multicultural you know on here. You know what I'm saying? While you're DJing, bro, this is a funny question. How much personal space do you demand? Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm bro. Boiler room was pretty like. Yeah, boiler room was like kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, not, it, not really annoying, but. But people just, I, I could tell. I was like, right. Cause like, if I, you know, the hype dude who's next to the DJ, he's like, bro, <clears throat> click the button, click the button, <laughs> click the button. It's like, yeah. Hey. But it, it, it just depends, like, what the vibe is. But yeah. I definitely don't like 
people like pushing up on you. like my somebody touching my back all the time like, Ooh, I, yeah. I can't stand that yeah. like mm. if i'm djing somebody's like elbows right here i'm like bro like, <laughs> you gotta you gotta, you gotta back move. up man yeah, yeah you gotta move man give me a little space like there's no yeah. reason why it should be this much but i don't i'm not crazy like i'm not like super like yo i don't want nobody around me unless it's like i get to the point where i'm like number one dj in the right. world you know yeah, then, then like, you gotta be it's like a then safety thing be. at but, that point yeah but i'm chilling man like i don't i don't mind it I don't okay. mind it having a packed booth and vibing. Because that, cool. right, it feels better. Yeah, it's it makes it more fun for you. No, for sure. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Easy. Hey, we got a couple rapid fire questions for you if you're down. Yeah, I'm down, but I'm the worst, man. Hey, I, I suck they're pretty, at like, they're pretty answering easy. stuff. Like, it's a, on the, the, the first hey, one's you've been, super you've been, easy. The first one's super easy. Yeah, you've been doing a good job. Outfit of the day. OOTD. What are we wearing today? Oh. Got some drip on right now. What am I wearing now? Yeah, yeah, yeah what you wearing? Just yeah. kind of talk us through it. Hey, a little vintage. Uh, I don't know. It's like a vintage top. I, just, okay. I was like, right. I got a bunch of vintage tops. Hell yeah. I love the it. color contrast, yeah. sick. Um, this belt I just got. I was just saying, I was like, that I was like that's a crazy, crazy belt, bro. my boy. That's, 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 that's the flex right here. That's, that's the flex. flex. Not fine. the watch. Yeah, no, not the watch. Not even the watch. What? Flex right here. This is at it. That um, talk us through it. Yeah, please. I forget the brand. It's like Pariah. That's a sick brand. They were on sale. Like 120. Like, I'm a cop it. I've always wanted like a fur belt. Yeah. Um, so yeah. you got that shit on for yeah. real. Got that shit on some dickies, man. Can yeah. some dickies? Simple. Dude, can't go chucks. wrong. Yeah. Come on. Never go chucks. wrong with the chucks. This is Come just on. like a simple outfit. This is a, Easy. This is a podcast. Hey, you can't yeah, skip, yeah. Podcast can't skip the, the, yeah, the eyewear, though. Shades, Come on. Oh, yeah, the or the wrist. Damn. Yeah, the eyewear. Nico. Hell yeah. I saw oh. these. Uh, yeah, I saw these on IG, I think, ad. Oh, really? But they're fired. Yeah, from IG. That's from uh, IG. Yeah, but this is actually a good brand. Oh, okay. like it's a, oh, it's a really, really good brand. Yeah, made in Italy. I see as well. That's his awesome. targeted, yeah. his targeted, and then uh, Instagram yeah. ads are got to be different. Than yeah, ours. I was like, yeah, you're getting, you're getting the higher quality stuff because I'm getting some stuff. They're like, hey, like, maybe it buy this shit maybe, off a of Timu, dude. Maybe he just came on the store page and I was like, these are fire because okay. I love the yellow lenses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I want to find more, but you know what's really hard is to find yellow lenses with like chrome uh, mm. frame. For some reason, if, they never have. Let chrome. me put you on. You have, you know, Jacques Marimage. Oh, I have eight of those. I knew it. I because I, I, I was like, those right there, they're screaming Jacques. They look like it, yeah. But I they, love Jacques. I can never find yellow lenses with with silver chrome. Okay, frames. I see it's what you're so saying. So hard to find for some reason. Mm, they I always have black or gold or, or then like red or yeah or red or like tortoise. Yeah, you know, whatever. yeah, yeah the yeah. tortoise kind of fire though. Yeah, then uh, I mean, yeah, 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 that's it. Oh yeah. That's a simple. This is the podcast fit, man. It's podcast like, fit, like, you know, chill maybe vibes. I, maybe I'll go go to the store, go to yeah. the, you know, go. Sh- I don't know, go do something, <laughs> go get do a something. coffee, yeah. and then you go back home. There you go. A little cafe moment, Ryan. It's town. Ryan was like, "I'm trying to cafe." Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. did have like a fire latte this morning. From it was, where? Uh, it, was, it was the Whole, whole Foods, whole foods, <laughs> whole foods <laughs> coffee whole shop. Foods? No way. But it, that was when we were picking up this fruit. But uh, that coffee, dude. Usually Whole Foods coffee. You was, it was it's because I gave you that oat latte. milk. Honey vanilla? Fire. That actually sounds pretty good. Nice. I put honey the vanilla. oat milk in there. Oh, yeah. go wrong with the latte. It was the yeah. oat milk, I think, low key. Because I gave oat it more of a good. nutty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oat milk is solid. That's like my base um, test on a coffee shop. I don't know if you're a coffee drinker. Yeah, yeah. But I'll order like a latte, maybe an extra shot of espresso, maybe not. And then caramel syrup or some type of sweetener. Like along those lines. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, and then you just go and check every like coffee sh- new coffee shop you go to, and that's kind of like your base test line. Well, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. So, you know, you can if you like see coffee, the that's the move. The roast or the beans or whatever they do there. That's different. they be like, but okay, it's sidebar on coffee people though, because like, why Which are we going one. this hard? Oh, though? like the people who got like the machine. They're like, it's like oh, just like TikTok. The ground, right, the like, freshly grounded, imported Colombian it's a beans. ritual. Clearly, you're you. not a coffee guy. No, I'm Look not a coffee you. guy. Like I, I just drink like, like iced coffee. So. I feel like it's one of those things that you have to, like you're like whatever, and then you try. You're like, oh shit. Actually, you're right. Do you, do you have like I, one of those machines? I have oh, a I have God. a grinder only because my boy gave it to me for. Yeah, for, I got one too. Yeah, hey. it's it's like a really good one. And uh, he gave it to me just, I think, I don't know if it was for, like for Christmas or like my birthday or something, but yeah, yeah. he had bought it for me. So I was, I would use it to like yeah. grind the beans because it's always better to grind them that's, freshly as opposed to just buying ground coffee. Facts. You that's don't what realize I heard. how big of a difference it makes. Until yeah. you Does it make it try. taste better though? Big difference. So yeah, maybe that's what it is. I'm over here having like Folgers cups. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like, and that's the way. That's like process, That's man. what happened that's with, like... when I was like the whole tequila moment. I was always like, bro, like what? But then when you actually try it, okay. like, you try all these tequilas and with the way the yeah, tasting yeah, yeah. is like. It blows your mind. You're like, wow. You're and right. You just, you're like, fuck all the tequilas. This is yeah, what I want. Yeah, let me just get that right there. <clears throat> yeah. Nah, I'm still trying to figure out, like, I know my signature cocktail, but I don't know, like, my signature drink, man. Like, what's, I mean, what's the spirit? Your spirit? Is my it? spirit is tequila. Tequila. Okay.
If I gotta go drink, I'll put. If there's like mezcal though, I'm getting like an old fashioned mezcal. Yeah, yeah. and I'm wearing that's I'm fine. wearing all black. That's the move. Yeah. All I'm black. Like, that was me last just, night. Come on, <laughs> come on. I'm wearing all black tonight. Trust just me. Pondering. Yeah. Just, yeah. 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 Yes, sir. With the mezcal, I'm gonna be nah, for sure. What's the next question? Yeah, yeah. The next question. Yeah, yeah. We kind of asked you about the food spot. You know, I know you like your favorite things. To eat, but there's gotta be some food spot. And if you had, all right, what is one of the last restaurants you went to? You had a good time there. Had a good meal at. Um. I mean, I I went the spot called Mila on the beach. It's like mm-hmm. it's like one of those super Miami spots. It's yeah, like, yeah. like loud music, oh, no. yeah. Tulum vibe. They have like the fire bre- uh What do you call fire it? breathers? Uh, no, you yeah, saying fire right? breathers? Yeah. And oh wow. The whole show. Oh yeah. Oh, the right. food is really good. I had a good time there. Uh, that sounds fire. Good drinks. Yeah. Oh yeah. Might That's all to, you need. That's might all have you to hit got a beach up. right there. If, if if you want to do like a super Miami thing, you go to Mila. It's fun. Uh, okay. Mila. Mila. M I L A. Yeah. Say less. Miami vibe. Yeah. But there's there's way better spots for food. For okay, sure. okay. Wait, then if there's better spots for food, <laughs> well, that's the last place I went to. Like, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. he asked me. Yeah, the yeah, last yeah. one. But I mean, damn, for something really good, bro. I honestly is it like some mom and pop, like hole in the wall <clears> type of place? There or? definitely is. I just, I just can't you don't remember. got them at the top right. of your mind. Yeah. They're not. There. Yeah. It, it comes back whenever you're hungry. And you're like, nah, yeah. I know what I want. Nah, that's that's what I should have said. <laughs> or like when you're driving by and you're like, damn, I was on the podcast. That's the one I should have said. Yeah, exactly. And that's what's gonna happen. Exactly. All right, all right. We got the next one. We're Big movie guys on this podcast. Big movie you know, guys. Yeah, I don't movies. know if you're into movies, TV shows, oh, but yeah. if you got to sit down and put on something just to kill the time or what one of your you? favorite movies to just uh, watch in your free time, what would it be? A go-to. Um, damn, that's another hard one. It's hard. It's tough. If you can't do one, we can do like two or you three. Do, or yeah, you can do more than one. I mean, we love movies. I'll, I'll say movies that I watched recently that I thought were really good. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Because i'm never gonna have like a one movie one movie. exactly yeah, that's yeah. how i am yeah yeah but i just watched let me see if i can remember these names i watch 95 percent of my movies on flights by the way it's okay yeah. like i don't really that's, like, that's how i watch all my movies you yeah. a busy man yeah you got that's the only on, time you, yeah, on you got go. time yeah. Yeah. we got amc apps and, yeah. no, and a lot of times so okay. yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't let too much time honestly man. so i'm like honestly <laughs> you trying to go see a movie we we okay sorry let me not go ahead boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. i'm trying to uh oh I, I one movie i just watched again that was really good is black mass Oh, yeah. it's with Johnny Depp. He's, it's like a movie about oh, the Boston uh, kingpin, drug kingpin. Oh. Does he have an accent? Yeah, he has like a, he's, he's bald in it, right, or something. He's or? like balding. Balding. He's like, he's yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, I remember that. Like one. a white hair, blue eyed guy. He looks weird. He looks different because it's like Johnny. Man. Johnny Depp tell, always doing some crazy uh, <laughs> transformation. <laughs> Johnny's really a good, good movie, job. Though. That Black Mass is really good. I haven't um, seen that one in a minute. <clears throat> there's also another one that I watched. Dang, that sounds good. I haven't heard that one. The one that everybody was talking about that I just watched that was crazy is the. Barbie. No, it's the, sorry, 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 sorry. Barbie. It's no. uh, what is it called? Oh, Parasite. Oh, Parasite, dude. Parasite's so good. Parasite Crazy. is so good. I remember a buddy of mine told like when it first like came out, and they're like, dude, you gotta watch Parasite. I'm like, ah. It won the Oscar that. Yeah, year. yeah. I, I never year. cared for it either. I was like, I don't. But then like we were, I watched it with my boy the Kirk. It was like Sunday. We're like, yo, let's just watch some movies. Yeah. We never do this. Not for real. So we came across, and I was like, everybody says this is good. I watched it. I was like, damn. It's just really crazy because it's really like two movies in one. Like yeah. you got like what you know. I don't want to go into spoilers. I, I actually, but it's like I've you got like the first one. half of it, and then something happens, and you're like, wait, wait, wait. It like reshapes everything. Then you're like, what the hell? And then it's like, then the second half happens, and you're like, okay, this is just crazy. Yeah, Parasite's an amazing movie. I love that. Yeah, movie. Yeah, it was really good. I need to watch that one. I'm so sorry, Parasite. <laughs> have you seen Have you seen the Iron Claw? Uh, that, no, that I one, haven't. No, that, I haven't. that one's. A, you know Brown, which one right? that's about the wrestlers, yeah, the, the wrestler. Yeah, dude, that one was. If you want to get a good cry on, dude, that yeah, one was rough, man. That was a tough watch. It's Damn, for real. So like, you know, I'm talking. Like, me really and Hums good, are, me and Hums so are in sad. the theater, and we just kept saying, "Damn, fuck." I was like, "No." Like we were like, "Damn." I'll have to, I'm gonna watch it like, on but it's flight really in like good. Five months, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. they'll be like, "Hey, uh, you, yeah, you go see it and be because like." The thing is, we have long flights, and I have nothing to do, so I yeah. have to not. I have to watch. I have to wait. Not watch any movies. That's smart. Right. Even That's Saudi smart. Arabia, that flight what is like thirteen? I watched, yeah, 12, I watched like three movies, four hours, movies, and then slept. Yeah, yeah. Heck fourteen yeah. hours. And the I've movies heard. that I watched on there, I don't remember to see it. Like they were good too, but I don't. You remember. You fly through a couple, and then you knock if out. If you just describe it, I bet I can name it. Like what oh, happens? Oh God! Hold on, let me try Watch to remember. This, this is Hamza. Now Hamza trying to remember. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to do this. Go <laughs> ahead, boss. Let me see. Uh, some pineapple. The, the, pineapple. the fact that I can't even remember. Pineapple. The creator? Did you just say the creator? No, no, no. I'm saying oh, the fact oh. that I can't. Even I was like, wait, which one is that one? That's the one with the AI and the robot with like Denzel's son. Denzel Washington son. It's like AI. There's like robots. Oh, I watched that one. What did you think? Did you like that, that one? one? I AI kid. Dude, that yeah. one wasn't was that like so a, good. Like, 
it just kind of like it's a word. movies like that are so dope they don't make them like that anymore. they don't tell you like the media doesn't like blast it up yeah I forgot. and then, that one was under the radar man and then you just another thing up. that was amazing about that was just the visuals were yes fucking crazy they went, they went. and i heard uh, i was wow. like reading a I thing so i was impressed. watching an interview with the director he like apparently the budget for that movie was like 80 million compared to like all these marvel movies it's like 200 million and they look like shit that movie looked amazing for like it a really quarter did. of the budget. It's wow. because when you like allocate the right funds to the right places, you're gonna create the right the right film. I think what comes with those like big Marvel movies is like you got these big name actors, so you gotta pay. That's that, where a lot of this yeah, you budget gotta pay is going to bill. the salary or to, to their you know? pay. Yeah, you gotta sure. pay that bill. Another right. crazy one though, if you haven't seen it, which eventually I'll probably be on the plane. Godzilla minus one. That's the oh, new yeah. Godzilla movie, man. It's another international movie. But man, that they got one nominated is, for an Oscar as well. Yeah, best visual effects, man. That wow. movie was so. And I will good. okay. That's what the Oscar was for. Yeah, visual effects went crazy, wow. bro. I don't they know, really good. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I respect that movie. I wish too. I remembered the other movies I watched, but yeah. it's okay. Maybe we ask you about a classic. How do you feel about like um, Breakfast Club? I don't think I ever watched that. Oh, brother. What's like? To, what's like your? What's I like missed. a classic I, to you? A lot of classic movies I didn't watch. Same, Forrest right? Gump. Same. Huh? No, but saying, like, what's one nah, that you've I never seen? That what's Rather. one that you've seen that you're like, oh, to me, this is a classic? Um, damn. You caught him on the spot. Toy Story. I mean, Story. yo, crazy enough, I just watched Scarface for the first time. Really? Two years that's okay. Ago. That's like one of those ones, though. That's one of those ones where you're like, you're you in watching? Miami. Yeah. yeah, literally. So I never watched, uh, I don't, I didn't watch almost any of the classics, to be honest. I mean, it's, they were, like, I was a kid when they were, like, popping, and even just growing up, I just didn't yeah. care. I'm not, like, a big movie. Like I don't like watching movies that are old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You like yeah, to be it's like current with the times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because if I watch, oh, I'm like, yo, this is so like this. Is, you can tell it's dated. It can yeah. tell it's dated, and it's just not. And I don't enjoy it. Tough. Because even when I go back and watch like a movie, like a clip from a movie, I'm like, damn. I, back then, I thought this was cool, but this yeah. is whack. You know. Uh, yeah. So I don't want to have that feeling of an old Facts, movie. Bro. I feel like a lot of the crime movies, though, like yeah. those types of ones, they like don't really heat. have that feeling. Yeah, yeah. I feel like no, Scarface, right. like Goodfellas, Godfather, like. The oh. Departed, like all these ones, like you don't really like. Departed, even, even though sorry. they're like you know they are made whenever they were made, but it's like there's just some bad them. It's just like with all the crime movies, they just yeah, got dude, for sure, some man. bad man. Something about a good old mafia movie though. Have you seen Godfather? No, okay, okay way too like, long. Oh, I got it. You tripping though? Like it's it's. He said that I tried. Way too long. All you got to like, give. That's that's a good flight one. Okay. Yeah, sick, yeah, probably, all you gotta do is watch one and two. You don't even need to bother yourself with the third one, bro. Okay. okay. If you're gonna, but you might as well if you already made it at two thirds of the. Not nah, because it's gonna it. piss you off. It's gonna make you mad, bro. And I'm yeah, already gonna nah. give you that cloud. <laughs> Sorry. I was kind of in, in that same boat of like missing out on not watching a lot of the classics. So at work, you don't kind of be any movies. Yeah. Okay. Movies. Movies. Periods. But classics <laughs> are included. So at work, they just like. That word got out, so then it got to the point where my phone was just getting handed around the whole office. They're just writing movies that I'd never seen. Yeah, no, you, you seen this? Your no. list is insane seen, now, no. bro. I'll scroll like. But the problem a is, swipes to get back down. The movies you're seeing are new movies. The only exactly. Movie, like that's the. Like, hey, you know, that's what, that's a way to do it. The, I forgot the. There was one movie that I thought was really cool that nobody knows about. It's called Who? I think it's called Who. Am who? I tripping? Or what is it about? It's about. No, it's not called Who, but it's like something along the lines of Who. But it's just about this guy. Like, it starts off and you don't know what's going on. It's just this guy kind of like has a miserable life. His wife is like, doesn't like, not hates him, but she's just like over the, they point, they paint a picture of like his life just being super like. He just lives a shitty life. Bland. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And there's like no excitement anymore. Vanilla. Whatever. Yeah. And then he comes across like, <clears throat> I think. What happens is he, so I think his daughter like loses her bracelet or something. Mm. And he's like, I gotta. I oh, know. I know exactly I what like you're I talking, know what about. You're talking no, about. No, with the dude from Peter Call Saul. And it's um, he gets punched in the face on the cover, and he's yeah. like a under. It's nobody, like, nobody, nobody, nobody. Yeah, that's that what it good. is. Yeah. I watched that one with my grandma, and that the thing, was a sick movie. That, that was like because it was like and that was from the it. same people who did the John Wick movies and dude. stuff. So you could tell with all the that, action that bus and stuff, scene, the bus scene. Bus scene. And and he like, like finally, like, he just, just walks off, and he's like, Yeah, all right. Yeah, and I like it because it's. Even the fight scene was like realistic. Yeah, and he, he was getting his ass beat. He was getting his ass beat. That's getting... what I love. That's what I'll say though. Compared to like action movies back in the day, like it, back then, it's like the hero is the hero. Like he can't even get touched. Whatever. It's like I like how now and I feel like John Wick kind of like really yeah, kickstarted that. But it's like, like it makes a way. It's like yeah, the hero. You kind of got a John Wick their... swag to you, Abe Drums. 
Yeah, like I've full beard <laughs> and then put on like a black <laughs> yeah, suit, dude. Black suit, when I, like when I the, will put that suit on, man. It's get you on a horse, bro. Like, <laughs> get you on a horse <laughs> with a katana sword or something. Dude, like, like he's yeah, going man. crazy. I'm with it. I'm That'd with be it. exciting. That's I, right. I, I think I was gonna be John Wick. Like I think for last Halloween year, or something. Because yeah. I was like, I had no plans, and I was nah. like, fuck it, I'll just put on a suit, John Wick, and easy. Which I did, but I was like, nah, it's too like normal. I look like I'm literally just about to go out, you know? Like, so I was like, fuck it. I just painted my face like a clown or some shit. That's better than me. I like wore all, I just wore all black and was trying to be like this fashion opium dude. And then everybody Playboy party type. Everybody was like, "Are you Neo? Are you, <laughs> are you Neo? Yeah, are you, yeah." And I'm like, "No, bro. I got a Jill Saunders skirt on and our legacy boots." <laughs> That's funny. I'm a fashion demon. I, I think our, we got our legacy's fire. I fuck with our legacy. Dude, those. Boots. I have so many clothes of that. I, just, I didn't even realize till like yesterday. I was looking through my. I was like, damn, I have so much Ari legacy. I didn't even notice. It's because it's like. Yeah. Great silhouettes, great yeah. quality. You gonna get what you pay for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simply put, oh, yeah. I think we got a few more rapid questions. Yep. Right? All right, the next one is who is on your Spotify Wrapped or whatever streaming you, platform he you said, use. You Spotify or use Apple Music. He Spotify. Said, Spotify. Or who, who are some Let's new? Go. Bro on. said I was yeah, my, on my number on my one phone, artist. Actually. I oh. screenshotted like my list. Oh yeah, it yeah, was yeah. crazy. It was like it was. Uh, or who are you listening to in the new year? You know, people popping up. But what were you saying? It was. I mean. Listening music to listening to music for me is like I don't know it's like not there like I don't yeah. I don't listen to music to like listen right yeah. you always get there's always something you're kind of studying it yeah you're studying yeah exactly. I'm only listening to music if I'm like studying I'm like all right cool this is what I want to make I want to see what all these other guys in this this genre this scene are making mm. how they're making it why like everything but as far as just like listening to music like oh uh, I I don't do it <clears throat> I think it's just like doing it for my whole life yeah for so long it's just not the same yeah that makes sense I, like i can't really enjoy music the way people do anymore yeah, no i mean yeah, it's yeah. like it's, it's your it's your like you're not waiting yeah. you're yeah. Not so waiting like, for like a like, release or yeah, fridays you know like, anytime exactly. you listen to music you're like breaking it way down me i'm listening to how like damn that lyric was crazy yeah, yeah like you, you can enjoy that beat it drop was and dope like, yeah and i can't i just i'm very like to because it, it's like another thing it's like um uh, when I'm listening to music, I'm like critiquing it, mm. as opposed to just enjoying it. I feel like it's yeah. almost like like I feel like a mo- like like a like a movie director, like Martin right. Scorsese or something. He can't just go watch a movie because right. he's like he's thinking about okay, I make movies, so I know this, this, and this. But he's like, oh, I wouldn't have done like, that. Oh, I w- I, they would have started. They should have done it this way because that would have made. I get yeah, what you're saying. Yeah, okay, exactly. That's, that's exactly. That's exactly is that is. good or bad though? It has like. I think it's. Do you get it's to enjoy good. music as an artist? I think it's good because I'm very confident in what I believe in. What yeah. I believe is a good song or a bad True. song. True, but it's bad when it comes to talking to someone about it mm. because then if they're like, "Oh, there's have you heard this song? I love it," and you're like, ah. and I'm like, "This song is so whack. What do you mean? It's so bad. <laughs> like, why do you like it?" And, and they're, they're like, like, "Well, well, because," and I'm like, "Well, it's not. It's not. <laughs> I just know. It's just yeah, know." I was like, I was like, you're, this is crazy you're so then wrong. that's when it's bad because it's like you're just like a grinch to yeah music. yeah we had a buddy like that man he's like a blues guitar player and then anytime we played rap he's like but where's the fucking instruments bro <laughs> and you're just like you're so right dude you're so right i get that a lot like people like if I, yo what's your emo or like oh like, oh you play the drums i'm like no i don't <laughs> you play, play the drums, the drums? <laughs> <laughs> and i just feel so whack because i'm like i know i got i was like i make them i don't play them though yeah but, yeah but that like, actually kind of i was gonna say that yeah it brings us to the next i had a side question as well like how did that name come about like ape drums like where do you guess i wish i had a cool story man but it was just so basically originally ape drums was me and my friend one of my boys in houston it was yeah. a duo mm, uh, we had went by another name before but I was like, yo, I want the word drums in the name. I was like, I think that I we think, love drums. Yep, yep. We love like the tribal house. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah we that love. makes sense. So we want drums in the yeah. name. And then he would always like, when we, he would come over to like, I guess in my room, I had like my little studio set up and he would come over and I would just like be making music, but he would always like draw. He was like a graffiti artist and he loved just like doodling stuff. And um, he drew like a gorilla with like Nikes on or something. Oh, Hard. And, he was fire. Like, and I was like, gorilla drums. I was like, Nah. He's like, hold on. Was, He's like, I'm almost ape there. Drums. Like, ape ape drums. Drums. Oh, like, this is pretty cool. Like, what do you think about ape drums? He's like, that's yeah. the one. He's like, fuck with like, it. I was like, I fuck with it. It's easy. It could, it, you know, it sounds like it means yeah. something, but it can also just mean something. Like, you know, ape drums. It sounds loud. It sounds like what we like. So then that was it. It was really 
Yeah, no that's story. pretty much. No literally, story is cool, like, a cool that's story. That's the though, same you know thing. That's like the yeah. same type of vibe with our the Listen Buddy podcast. It's like we we're like, what do we call? It? It's like we always say that. It's like we're like you listen. know talking shit to each other. Like, listen, buddy. Like, listen, no, let buddy. Tell, let me tell you how it is. Listen, you're buddy. gonna sit down. And you're gonna yeah. Right. And then our, other, listen, our buddy. other the other co-host, he's unfortunately wasn't able to make it. Mr. To Ushwin. Mr. Shout Robert out Ushwin. Yeah, but he actually like he like had the idea. He was like, oh, we should call it Listen Buddy. And so then it's just like. And then we made the logo, and we're like, boom, that's it. Yeah. Logo was one take. Yeah, literally. Logo was one take. Yeah. On Canva, first thing we spit it out, and we're like, Canva. Stuff that is, is like so works. beautiful. Yeah. Like, it's like no you reason said, to change it. The know? first version. Yeah, that's Listen, sick. Buddy. Come on now. Like, simple, straight to the Appreciate point. It. Color scheme was nice. And sometimes cool. no story is the best story because that's exactly. how the magic happens. You yeah, know? exactly. Really, though. I was just feeling it. Like, I was locked in. Hey. And now we're here. And now we're here. But all right, we got a couple more questions, and we can wrap things up here. But all right, so. We kind of talked about this throughout the pod, but like, you, what are your, some of your other major hobbies other than music? Um, just working out. I love cooking. Yeah. So yeah. anything, anything like movement, athletic based, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. doing. So I love to play like sports. Or uh, oh, are yeah. you a, are you a sports fan? I'm not a sports fan, but I like to play. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. For sure. I don't really care to watch or like. Whatever. There's a, yeah, for sure. But I love playing sports and doing anything active. And Things that, that require a lot of discipline. It seems like. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And like, and I've been pretty like I guess naturally I'm pretty good at like anything, like move physical based. Mobility. Yeah. Like move anything with movement, I'm pretty good at it just naturally. Which so it's like excite like I just enjoy it. Um, I like cooking. I yeah. realize that I think like when I'm retired, like I just want to cook. I just want to chef like, it that's up. That's what I want to do. Yeah. That's something chef. you can do until you damn chef near, like, drums. Yeah. Exactly. Chef ape, ape chef. Yeah. Chef drums. <laughs> we'll work on it. Yeah. Ape oh, chef. Yeah. <laughs> It's there. It's there. I see the vision. Oh, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> That'd be dope. Um, I mean, other than that, I, I don't. That's. I mean, I guess it's hobbies. Other than that, um, that's it. I, I like just designing stuff. It can be yeah. anything. Like oh, in my yeah. head, I'm always like designing stuff. Yeah. I want. I wish. I want to like design furniture at some point. Oh yeah. I yeah. want to design oh, clothes. Yeah. Like I want to oh, do yeah. all kinds of stuff. But, Dude, oh, yeah. yeah. And there's so many ways to learn and just get into that yeah. space too. And like with and, that, like man, you just get into the right room and yeah. you like. I mean, exactly. I feel like you already have a name for yourself. So it's not like you find the right furniture person. We can be a like, furniture collab. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I would love to like just create, man. I just like creating. Yeah. I feel sure. like as humans, like we were meant yes, to sir. create. Hey, yeah. Yeah. I, exactly. I heard like a quote from like, Andre 3000. He was like, I don't, I don't breathe. I don't feel like I'm breathing if I'm not creating. Yeah. Like mm. as a human, like I just feel like I'm stagnant if I'm not mm, actually creating ass, something. 100%. And that one stuck with me. That's yeah. what that one stuck with me for real. There's so many ways to like express yourself through like creativity or mm. whatever you're doing, like athletics, sports, working out, cooking, even making music. That's all ways to kind of express yourself. Yeah. And like everybody who can do that same activity, but they'll all be different. You know, yeah. like you can, everybody here yeah. probably works out, but we don't. None of us have right. the same routine. Right. Yeah. We could all cook the same dish. It ain't going to taste the same. You know, like, so it's yeah, like, yeah. No, way, I, can't, I can't cook a steak. Well. I was like, mine will be. Probably but I, I'll tell you right now, chicken pot pie. No, you can cook it. I didn't say it was gonna be good. Though. Yeah, you know what I'm, <laughs> gonna be hey, well I'm not gonna. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of throw down in the kitchen. Come Everybody on. who's had my pot pie knows my pot pie. Look, steak, cook off steak competition. Yeah, hey. Now nah, you listen, buddy. I'll cook pop off. pie off, bro. Let's have <laughs> pot pie off. Pie off. we're doing is crazy. Like I cannot I'll cook a steak. I'll lose at the pot pie, dude. I'll be <laughs> cooking them southern foods, man. Hey, you let me watch a YouTube video beforehand. Nah, it ain't gonna hit like mine though. I'm good. It ain't gonna. I'm gonna put that love it. All right, sorry. Let's 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 get back. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. <laughs> no that's hilarious all right last one last one all right this is kind of uh this is a pretty good question you can go anywhere with this but like three or five things you can't live without um <clears throat> damn um all right that's hard it doesn't have to be a physical thing that's so you know hard. it could be like activity okay it could be yeah, like yeah. somewhere to go so it could be exercise yeah mm -hmm. mandatory um, always number come one. one key cookware mm. oh yeah oh wow Oh, yeah. That is so like true though. Because yeah. when you, you got that, cook. Bro, you gotta nah. eat to survive. Because like, when you got the wrong knife, yeah, it's, and it, it ain't don't it ain't doing same. what you need it to do, it bro. Yeah, it's got a yeah. Or that yeah. nice nonstick pan that you use or cast iron, whatever exactly. you need. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, I hear I can't, you. It's not gonna come out the that same. Was good. That, that was a good. That's a good one. one I'm sorry, that one, that one stuck with me. Yeah, <laughs> nah, that was good. So, yeah, exercise, cookware. Um, let's see what else. Um. I mean, I guess. Let him cook for real. Let him cook for real. <laughs> my laptop. Literally. I was going to say, yeah, oh, something yeah. to like cook oh, up some music. Yeah, yeah probably, I guess right, my yeah. laptop. Got to have like a laptop. A, that's like a basic, yeah, I yeah, yeah. say, laptop. Yeah. Um, 
Nah, for sure. You need that. No, I think you you definitely need it, right? Like, so when y'all pull up to the stage, it's like y'all gotta have your laptop, yeah. or is it on a hard, on oh, a hard no, drive? No, 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 it's just on a on a hard drive stick. Uh, but yeah, you need the laptop to put shit. Of on course, stick. so it's yeah, like yeah. definitely laptop. Um, I guess like I can't live without clothes, man. Good clothes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man, bro. And Stuff then, that fits you nice, you know. Oh yeah. man, bro. And then. Uh, Fit is crucial. Contacts, I guess. Eye oh, contacts. Yeah. <laughs> I agree, bro. I recently These are got solid. Con- These are like, Dude, you know. That's it. I can they see. all got very <laughs> valid. Eat. Yeah, you can eat. You can you can move around. I you can know. create. And, and you can, can stay healthy. And I can look good. Yeah. And I can stay healthy. There you Easy. go. Easy. Come on. That's all that covers every, that that, every base that's imaginable. Literally yeah, that's literally all, an all-encompassing right <laughs> there. That's probably so, the realest like top five. Yeah, I'm proud of myself for that one. That was good. For real. I ain't gonna lie. Most people are like, uh, storybooks. My phone. Books and bitches like, uh, <laughs> yeah. like, what are you talking about bro yeah. <laughs> get your priorities straight bro exactly yeah i'll fuck with that one but uh nah man um mr drums we once again appreciate you for, for taking the time to link up with the gang man oh, wow. yeah. and Much honestly i hope this has like started a good friendship because i'm not gonna cap i'm trying to do this again you're yeah, a, we should it. man you're yeah. a fun we time do, like more shit like yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah if i ever do anything in texas that like, we should do something oh, for together. sure like i'm so down. maybe there's like in the future like, a show or something trust we'll do, like a pre-show oh, yeah. show. trust oh, me. hell yes trust me or backstage something oh, we're yes. down we're so we're down we drive we fly he flies for free yeah it don't matter, bro. Oh <laughs> he got motion. He got motion. Don't get done like vlogcast. We kind of like coined it a little bit, a little yeah, vlog yeah, yeah. podcast, kind of yeah, what yeah. we like did at Boiler the show, Room. Yeah, you know, we we'll show the like, show and then we like show after the. No, we've done a little, yeah. a couple sure. skits here and there, kind of documents. But fun. you know, there's, yeah, there's, sick. like we said, there's a bunch of ways to. You just tell us the time and the place, and we're there. And we're there. So like once again, man, just thank you so much. I appreciate you. So much. I low key need a refill if we're gonna do a cheers on the cheers out. I just need a little right there. For show. Boom. Come on now. Mr. Drums, would you like to tell us what we're drinking today? Give him a second. Give him a second. Yeah, today we got the Añejo version of Tres Generaciones. Ooh. This is, this, is, a, the, this is the one you don't drink often. You got to like chill. We sip on it. Yeah, you got to oh, sip yeah. this one. Oh, yeah. That's so If easy. you saw earlier, I spilt it a little bit on myself. I'm still growing. Yeah, there it is. We're you, learning. The cameras can see it. You know, oh. it looks nice and I can't. Oh, no, I think good. they can see, right? There it is. Yep. Yeah. Right yeah. There. there it is. Right there. That, <laughs> yeah, that's that real, gym, man. that real yeah. club soda. Right, right. there. Cheers. Come Cheers boys. again. You got it? Oh, Sir, hey, is your glass empty, though? Isn't that bad luck? Dude, Come man. on. Eon, He's just fucking up the hole. Yeah, like... <laughs> yeah. Are you... No, no, no. I'm proud of you. Yeah. But we can't. Cheers an empty glass. Isn't that... It's 4 p.m. Five p.m. somewhere. Five o'clock somewhere. somewhere. Hey, salud, 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 salud. Y'all know what salud, y'all know what it is. Salud, salud, salud. I like that. That's part. Good old club soda right there. Yeah, we can't go wrong with tequila soda, man. That's like my go-to. We kind of coined it. We just like you know, since we're not sponsored, but we got a good sponsor on today. Yeah. Show you know, yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah. Of heck yeah. Thank you so but much. Everything man. we drink, we kind of just call it club soda. Yeah, okay. whatever we want. Drinking. So. Close this is the best close soda you can get, though. Better, uh, yeah, I ain't that gonna lie. That's, that's <laughs> Twas delicious. Close soda is also a good name for a podcast. Oh, hey, facts. no, did, oh, you know how the Nelk Boys have the Happy Dads? Oh, no, no, that's all I gotta say. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't really follow. That's okay. Yeah, well, after the pod, we'll explain. We got some. We got some ideas cooking <laughs> so, up. Yeah, yeah. Stay tuned. Hell yeah! But yeah, all right. hey, let's cheers you, it out. We're cheers we out. Shout, shout out to Thank everybody who made it this far. Hey, shout out to all our viewers. Keep watching. We're gonna be back, and don't forget. Listen, buddy. Listen, Sorry. buddy. Come on. There it is. And that brings us to the end of another episode on the Listen Buddy Podcast. If you enjoyed the conversation as much as we did making it, don't forget to share the love and hit that subscribe button. Reach out on all social platforms at Listen Buddy Podcast and be sure to drop a like and comment below. Stay tuned for more episodes every Friday. And as always, listen, buddy. She's gonna see this video when you guys post. Oh, that's cool. She's always like, every time I post, she's like, so I know she's watching my stories. That's so love. Shout out, Oh, she actually, like, was like, oh, who are these guys? They're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.